everybody, we're here with Sophia Bates, the owner of Great Harvest here in Twin Falls. So, I want to ask you, you've been open for about seven years. Yep, this year will be seven for us. All right, and so how are things going? Things are going great. We're plugging along. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you know, everything's made from scratch in here, which I thought was amazing. You make everything every day, right here fresh. Everything every day fresh. We even mill our own wheat on site. No kidding. Yeah. Nice. So fresh wheat berries and we mill the flour and use it. And so. Well, and you can fresh. taste the difference. Yes. Right? Yeah. Um, so now this is a Freedom franchise. That's correct. Cool. So explain to us how that kind of works. So um, a freedom franchise is one where um, the owners have a lot of freedom to make the choices that will be good for the area that they live in. Mm -hmm. um, Great Harvest aims to have each, uh, each Great Harvest locally owned by local owners um, and to become the neighborhood bakery. So um, they give us a lot of freedom to uh, do the things that fit our neighborhood, our little local area. Okay. So um, if you went to a Great Harvest back east, they would probably make a lot of things that people there would really like, mm -hmm. um, which some of the flavors there might not fly here in Twin Falls, Idaho. You know, some people like, you know, regular basic, you know, cinnamon rolls slathered in frosting or, you know, things like that. But um, so we get a lot of freedom to choose our menu and different things that we want to do here. And um, they only have just a, a few requirements for us. So it gives you a lot of leeway to kind of make your own decisions and mm -hmm. but still have the support of a large mm -hmm. franchise. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so take me back to, because before this, you guys didn't own a business. We did husband. <laughs> so he's an electrical engineer? Electrical engineer. And you were a stay-at-home mom. Stay-at-home mom, yes. So why make the decision to, hey, we want to open a business, and then why did you decide to open a bakery business? Uh, that's a good question. So uh, when my husband and I were going to school at Utah State, he was studying engineering and I was studying, studying fisheries and wildlife, and um, uh, we had always talked about um, maybe having a business, and uh, my husband always liked the idea of having a business, and I had always had a dream of having a bakery. I just really liked, um, ma I like making yummy food that people like to eat yeah. and like to take. It's more enjoyable for me to have people take something that they love and be excited about that. And he was like, oh, a bakery would be awesome. I love bread. Like, I love, <laughs> I would love a bakery. And so we kind of combined the dreams of he wanted a business and I always thought a bakery would be fun. And so we kind of always had that in the back of our mind. Mm. But um, we finished school and um, started a career um, with the aircraft division of the Navy and um, did that for a while, but still always talked about a bakery. And I would make uh, bread for my family at home. Mm. So I had my own small little mill that I would mill my own flour and make bread at home. And oh, so wow. we just, one day it was just like, you know, I'm tired of um, regular, um, government life and want to try something new and so we decided to really pursue um, doing the bakery and seven years later eight years later here you are yeah yeah, yeah. well in you know a lot of businesses you know starting out you know um, what did you learn about starting your own business and running your own business that maybe you didn't realize before you, you jumped into this venture. Yeah, that's very true. So neither of us had business background. We didn't study business at school. So we were just kind of jumping in, um, relying on the franchise to kind of help us. And they did, and they helped us get started. They helped us know how to set things up. They taught us um, their processes, um, which was really great. But there is a lot of information um, out there about business that's that's really good and helpful and that was something that I learned at the beginning is my husband has a really great um, knack for numbers and the books and that type of thing and so that was something he jumped in to do and was really comfortable there cool um, but there's a lot of other things like marketing and which you know about <laughs> and um, um, employee management and you know all t all types of things that 
was like, wow, how do you how do you do this, or what are good practices, and so um, I actually took a lot of time um, to do some studying on my own and find some extra information and classes and mentors uh, to kind of help me build my uh, business knowledge and rapport so that I could kind of help. Yeah. And so. Well, that's awesome that, you know, you reached out to, you say mentors. So are you saying like, like here locally or, um, cause I, I, that's something that's super interesting to me because that's helped my business. I know how important mentors have been, mm -hmm. you know, for me, um, I kind of talk a little bit about that and cause I think that's something that, um, maybe some, uh, entrepreneurs or new business owners may be kind of, Oh, I, I, I'm just going to figure it out myself. You know? Yeah. So how has that worked out for you? That's been really great. So um, I first um, started listening to like podcasts mm. and different things like about business, and um, I came across um, um, a lady in. She actually is in the South, mm -hmm. um, is where she lives. Her name is Amy Walker, and um, she was putting out um, business information, and. Um, I kind of looked into some of her things and uh, eventually got in touch and she had a business mastery class that she did online oh, cool. and so we would just um, meet like every week um, the class would meet and they would mentor us on ba business basics nice. and so a lot of I first kind of started out with online mm -hmm. um, uh, business mentors you know and I still keep in touch with her and then um, other places. But here locally I've found mentors too in Twin Falls. Um, even just in like different groups like SHRM, there's a Society for Human Resources mm. here in Idaho that has really helped um, the topics that they have. I've uh, done a little bit with the Magic Valley advertising. Mm -hmm. um, but then I also just recently um, signed up with BBSI. Oh. And they're kind of helping mentor me in the business aspect of things too. Yeah. So, um, so a little bit outside of Twin and a little bit inside of Twin, and so. Also, I should actually say the Small Business Development Center has yeah. helped us quite a bit too. Very cool. So. So, uh, what do you see your the future? If you could have a crystal ball sitting here on the table, <laughs> what do you see in the next maybe three five years? For, for you guys. For Great here. Harvest. So um, on the business aspect, I see um, our business with like running systems that are just like impeccable. Yeah, that's <laughs> what we all strive for, right? Yeah, because when you first start out, you're just kind of figuring it all out and um, having systems in place that are super, super great. And then also just um, um, growing like our community involvement. Mm because um, I'm really community minded so um, being able to do more for the community um, s especially like in schools yeah so very cool well congratulations on the success thanks and uh, thanks for sitting down with us yeah thanks so much let's go grab a cinnamon roll right? yeah sounds good <laughs>